Hey guys and welcome back to my channel, This Curvy Yogi. I am Jakita and welcome back to my series, 30 Days of Yoga with This Curvy Yogi. And today we're just going to do a cool down sequence that you can use after all of the videos that we've done this month. And just get you ready for Shavasana or bedtime, either one. So grab your mat and we'll get started. So we're going to start with the knees bent and the feet placed on the mat. We're just going to do a little bit of boat pose. So while we're here, just lift the shoulders up and back to create a long spine. And then we'll lean back and lift the feet up, coming into boat pose. Your hands can remain behind your thighs or you can choose to release them. Just continue to keep the spine tall. Feel the core engage a little bit. And then we'll come back down to the mat. We'll do that two more times. So lifting the shoulders up and back, lean back, lift the feet. Stay here for a couple of breaths. And release. We'll do this one more time. Lift the shoulders up and back, lean back, lift the feet. And breathe and release and then we're going to come down onto our back just to practice a little bit of bridge pose once you get there just have the knees bent and the feet placed on the mat walk the feet back towards your hips and your hands can be down beside your hips So we'll take an inhale here. On the exhale, you can lift the hips up. You can wiggle the shoulders underneath if that helps. Press down through the feet. Keep yourself lifted. And if it's comfortable for you, you can interlace the fingers underneath your back. So you can grab both sides of the mat. Whatever feels comfortable for you. Then from here, we're gonna bring the right knee in and lift it up, hold for a breath. And then bring that foot down. The hips are still lifted. Bring the left knee in, reach the foot up, hold for a breath. And then bring it back down. And we'll lift the heels. And roll down through the spine and tucking the shoulders and take a breath here inhale and exhale and we'll do that one more time Let's take an inhale and the exhale lift the hips maybe you lift a little higher this time Don't forget to breathe. Think about drawing the knees together without bringing them all the way together. Just to activate the inner thighs, the quads. And then lift the heels and we'll roll down through the spine. Then from here, we'll bring the arms out to the sides. Bring both knees in. Inhale. Exhale, we're gonna twist over to the right. So the knees will come out to the right. And then just have the gaze going over to the left.
So now we'll bring the knees back in and then we'll bring them over to the left. bring both knees back in this time we're going to come into happy baby pose so just think about a baby reaching for their toes you'll bring the hands to the outside of the feet keep the knees bent so the knees will come kind of towards your shoulders and the feet will reach up towards the ceiling and you may stay here or you may also grab the ankles as well if you can't reach the outside of the foot that is okay we will just rock around. Don't forget to take deep breaths. And then we'll release down to the neck. And then from here, we're just going to come into Shavasana. So reg regular, traditional Shavasana is just having the legs extended and the hands on the mat beside your hips. And your head lies flat on the mat. And this can be your Shavasana. If you like to use anything else, if you need a pillow under your knees, you can use that as well. So we'll remain in Shavasana for a couple of breaths and then I'll let this video run out. So you can take as long as you like in your Shavasana. So everyone take a deep breath in and out. You can allow the eyes to close and the body to rest. 